how to lower your blood pressure in just two minutes, I'm gonna tell you how to do this. Just recently, at the University of Colorado in Boulder, they're doing a study to find out if deep breathing can actually lower your blood pressure. And the preliminary results are yes. My experience from doing this for over 25 years says absolutely they're gonna notice good results. What they're using is a machine to train the muscles of inspiration. And how this works is they're closing off the nose. Believe it or not, they're closing off the nose. I'm gonna tell you why this is a concern and why they can actually probably improve it a little bit in my humble opinion, but we'll just dis we'll decide that at the end of the video, so keep watching. But they close off the nose and they use a machine to restrict how much air a person can get into their lungs. So what they're doing is they're training the diaphragm, they're training the intercostal muscles, and they're training the scalene muscles to force air into the lungs. So what they're doing is they're training the inspiratory muscles, they're finding that if the person has stronger muscles, then their blood pressure, especially the systolic number, will actually go down by a significant amount. Now, let's discuss firstly how to do this, and then I'm gonna tell you my thoughts at it at the end and how maybe you can improve it before they even know. So what you do is you would close off your nose, you would pinch your nose so the majority of air is going to be going into your lungs. Now you're going to inhale with your, with your belly as well as your chest and you're going to inhale as deeply as possible. Now they have a machine that restricts the amount of air that goes into your, your mouth so you really have to suck in the air. But what you're going to do, because you, you're going to try this at home, is you're going to take your blood pressure, do these exercises, and then take your blood pressure after. And let me know in the comments what, what actually happens to you. And I'll tell you what's happened in my particular case as well. But what, close off your nose, and when you inhale, it's gonna look like this. And really inhale, really make it difficult. Try to get more air into your lungs than is almost humanly possible. You should feel a strain at the bottom part of your ribs. You should feel a strain in your chest. You should almost feel a strain in your neck. So you inhale and then let the air out. Exhale just kind of naturally and then inhale again. Try this for two minutes and do a before and after with your blood pressure. Now, let's discuss why this actually works. They believe that the stronger the muscles of breathing will actually improve the systolic blood pressure and it actually does. Now. It makes sense, of course, because if you go into a gym, and if you want stronger arms, you would train the muscles of your arms. If you want stronger knees, you train the muscles of the knee. Well, breathing is the same way. Now, when was the last time you actually trained your breathing? Never, and that's why most of us have weak muscles. I'm gonna give you a bonus. Let me tell you why I think that these results can probably be improved. By doing this research, they believe that the muscles of inspiration are the key to increasing breathing. What they're missing is they closed off the nose. When you breathe in through the nose, your body produces more nitric oxide. And nitric oxide is a chemical and a gas that will help dilate the blood vessels. If you want to lower your blood pressure, dilate the blood vessels, pressure goes down. So in my humble opinion, I think that if they actually breathed in through the nose as well as the mouth or did a study where they breathe through the nose only, you may find that breathing through your nose actually works better. But you tell me what your opinion is on that. Nonetheless, breathing and deep breathing are being researched at major universities as a method to lower blood pressure. I myself have found that when I'm a little stressed out, my uh, systolic blood pressure might go up a little bit, and I find that deep breathing every single day for just a couple minutes makes a significant difference. So let me know in the comment section down below. If you wanna see what happened to my blood pressure prior to some deep breathing exercise, and you can follow along with me, I'm gonna put that link right down here. And also, I don't need to say this, but you know the drill. Thumbs up, 
hit that button, that round button to subscribe. I do appreciate your support.